Hello, this is the current configuration of my wearable survival kit. I've designed it to be small enough to carry on me every single day, even if I'm not carrying a bag or briefcase, anything like that, because I wear everything in my pockets. In fact, it'll all fit in one large pocket, such as a cargo pants pocket if I need it to, but I typically wear it distributed between different parts of my pants, as well as I carry parts on my belt, parts on my wrists. I'm including in the image uh, my cell phone, which holds very various first aid guides as well as an electronic survival guide and my watch which holds a thermometer, compass, barometer, altimeter, all useful items in a survival situation. I have a multi-part video series on this kit and the first part is a general overview. Also it talks about my design goals and it's a breakdown of the main wallet. This is a flashlight I'm experimenting with. It has a wide angle as well as a telephoto and it has a flash mode so you can get people's attention at a distance. Uh, it runs on a triple A battery. I'm normally, runs on a double A battery. I'm normally a triple A battery guy, but I'm experimenting with this at the moment. The wallet is packed very tightly. And we have a large trash bag, space blanket, my accessory flat pack. This is part two of the video series. Part three of the video series is talks about waterproofing the two tins. And part four of the video series talks about adding uh, a parafob wrap to the external tin I wear on my belt, and from that I suspend my survival keychain. So this leaves us with the two tins. Keep in mind a lot of items people typically keep in their survival tins I keep externally on my keychain, my survival keychain, or my flat accessory pack so you won't see them inside the tins because I'm conserving space. I've already removed the black electrical vinyl tape from the blue tin, which is the first tin we're going to talk about. On the top I have a large piece of duct tape. It's a fluorescent orange for visibility. We're going to remove that, however, and insert a gray cloth to reduce glint and prop it up a bit. First up is iodized salt. This helps with water retention. Uh, good if you're running low on water supplies. You can also flavor food with it. This is Vaseline, which is good fire starting paste when mixed with a cotton ball, or in my case I use the tampon, which is sort of a concentrated form of dozens and dozens of cotton balls. And it's also good, of course, for wounds and burns and chapped lips. This is sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking soda, can be used as an antacid if you have an upset stomach. Uh, can also Act as deodorizer, toothpaste, bee sting ointment. This is concentrated liquid soap, good for washing anything you need. This is concentrated soap, so this amount is actually a lot more liquid soap than you would expect. I actually shave with this stuff, but I use it in my survival tin if I have to clean my hands for surgery, for instance. This is mineral oil. Uh, which is good for lubricating knife hinges, for instance. I like mineral oil since it's an edible oil. So if I use my knife to cut food, I don't have to worry about consuming uh, 
petroleum distillate oils. This is a little fishing kit. Uh, it has a few hooks, some uh, sinkers, a snap swivel, and the plastic tube. Also, if you insert some of the uh, fluorescent tape into the tube and then reseal it with a lighter, it can use, be used as a bobber. I have a video about making these little plastic straw containers. I do not use the plastic straw containers for liquid bleach, however. I have stopped doing that. I'm using a glass vial, originally used for... Uh, a cologne sample or perfume sample and liquid bleach in addition to sterilizing water in the water collection bags also is useful for sterilizing surfaces that you need to clean for eating or surgery. This is fishing line. Uh, this figure eight configuration is the most compact way to store fishing line without giving it memory effect. This is a toothpick. This one is in, in a plastic container to keep it, uh, keep it from getting uh, soiled and keep it sterile. I'm using an, old, an external toothpick to help me extract some of these items. Because a lot of things in this kit are in really tight. This is my uh, water collection bag. You've seen this in other videos if you follow my video series. Let me open this up. So inside this plastic straw we have a produce bag. Believe it or not, it can hold five liters of water, but I really only use it for one or two liters. This is my AAA battery. All, I try to use the same kind of battery in all my devices. This one's good for, till 2024, uh, and it's lithium, which is good for... Uh, having great long life as well as can take temperature extremes. This tampon, in addition to being a tampon, they're extremely useful in a survival situation because it's a compact form of cotton. So any application you would need a cotton ball for starting a fire. Uh, you can also stuff the straw that you'll see internally to act as a water filter. Uh, using this with the Vaseline to make it fire starting compounds. And the original application of tampons, most people don't know, was as bullet wound or puncture wound uh, plugs used in World War I. So if you have a puncture wound, you can stuff this in. And of course, if you're a woman, you can use this as a tampon. This is a Tinder Quick. I condense them by squishing them flat in a vise after I get them wet uh, so that they're more compact, but if you uh, roll this between your fingers, you can resuscitate it into a tinder quick, which is good for starting fires. Instead of the liquid bleach, these are also uh, to sterilize drinking water of questionable sources. These are Ketodyne uh, MicroPure 1 purification tablets. This is a spark wheel which lets you uh, start a fire if you have something combustible, such as the uh, tampon soaked with Vaseline. This is a rubber band. This is two items. Uh, internally is a piece of glue stick, which you can melt with the fire sources, such as the uh, uh, matchsticks coming up, and that's your instant glue. So, and then externally uh, around it were four paper, uh, not paper clips, uh, bobby pins, safety pins. This is good for tying down tarps. Uh, if you're doing tent construction, for instance, uh, you, want to, you want four, one for each corner of the cloth. And this is just uh, four that I've hinged together with this uh, very tight, tight packaging. This is a single tic-tac for fresh breath. Also, if you have to eat something horrible, this will at least give you a little snack afterwards. So if you have to make some tree bark soup or something really nasty, at least you'll have a little mint afterwards. This is my uh, bailout bag memory. Uh, this is, for instance, for storing all my home documents. Uh, it's a 
a USB reader card and internally there is a uh, micro USB chip holds uh, 32 gigabytes of data this is a little uh, matchstick holder match collection there's also a striker in there This is a Cyanolum glow stick, which is emergency lighting. <clears throat> Good for reading even if you have no battery source. I have a video on this. This is a uh, wrapped container of uh, dental floss, which is incredibly strong cordage for its size. <clears throat> Pardon me and I already have a needle attached to it for doing an emergency repairs and this is so that if, you, if you're if uh, you trying to string your needle and it's cold and windy your needle is already strung that can save your life good luck trying to thread a needle in the wind this is a desiccant to keep water out of the entire kit this is a little holder for the cyanolum stick so if you want to hang it from something as a glow light, uh, for instance, in your tent as a marker. This is an emergency space pen. It's a refill, but it acts as a space pen just fine. You can write notes with it. This is a combination uh, laser as well as light. It's a backup laser and a backup light. To discover what I use a laser for, you have to stick around for the second video. This is a roll of duct tape. It's, I believe, about 39 inches. So this is over a yard, over a meter, and I've constructed this little tape dispenser, uh, sort of like a toilet. Uh, toilet uh, paper roll. You can hold this either on a hook, on a chain, or even between your teeth, and you can dispense your, your duct tape by pulling on it. Uh, so it helps free up one of your hands, especially useful when you're constructing bandages. Twist tie. Also can act as an in insulated wire. Here's a red one, so you have a red and a black for doing electrical work. A little piece of jute twine, which is also an excellent fire starting compound. A tinder for catching sparks. We have four paper clips. Uh, they're black insulated so that they also can be conduct wire without uh, shorting. And there are four of them for the same reason there are four there's another one deep down there. Uh, there are four of them for the same reason. There are four safety pins, so you can attach one to each corner of a tarp when building a tent, for example. Uh, extra spare razor blade. Signaling mirror. This is a real deal signaling mirror. In fact, it's even got a, uh, a fireball flash hole. This is a little reflective surface. You can read about that elsewhere. Uh, I'm a strong proponent of using real mirrors in survival kits. Don't get any ideas about I'll polish my tin and that'll be good enough. No, it won't. I won't go into that, but trust me. Uh, tweezers. Little micro pencil for taking notes if the pen weren't working. That's the fourth paper clip. A zip tie, a nylon zip tie with a mounting hole so you can attach things uh, to it, like to a keychain. This is a straw, a flattened straw. If you take the tampon and dispense the, the internal cotton, or they're actually cotton and rayon. If you buy ones that are called uh, organic, they're pure cotton though. Uh, if you stuff the straw with that, you can make a nice little water filter for drinking unclean sources. It's better than nothing. It's not as good as boiling your water. And you can use your tin to boil water. That's another good application for survival tins. 
This is similar to a P38 or a P, I think called P51 is the larger version. Uh, however, this is a British version, which also has a uh, bottle cap opener. Uh, these are terribly, they're really sharp, so if you try and open a bottle, you almost cut yourself, but it's sort of a last ditch effort emergency device. This is a short length of a uh, hacksaw blade, and I've cut it at a point so you go, can also pierce things with it. This is a backup knife. Uh, it's made by Boker, although it's fashioned after a uh, custom, custom knife maker in Massachusetts called, uh, kind of hard to read there, but his name is right there on the, on the label. And it's this nice and wafer thin, which is why I have it in the kit. Here's a piece of right in the rain paper, which you can write on uh, without worrying about it getting wet. Say if you leave a note for uh, rescuers, what direction you've left your camp so they can find you. Some foil. Uh, what you can do is open this up. It's a uh, one foot square or larger piece of foil. And you can wrap it around your fist, put it inside the tin, and then boil water. Uh, the tin by itself, I think, only holds about a quarter of an ounce of water if you need it to boil liquids. Uh, however, with that aluminum foil, you can increase the amount. And that's it for tin one. Here's a wide angle shot showing an exploded view of the entire contents of tin number one. The water collection bag and space blanket can be used uh, to make either a solar still, a transpiration bag around a plant, or a large rain collection area. And for all three devices, you want a water collection cup. You can use the tin itself. I've applied some electrical uh, vinyl tape to the inside area where the hinge is to keep it watertight. And you can use this as your water collection cup for those three water collection devices. I also, with the straw, can tell scope it because it has an inner element and I can suck up the water from the tin for instance at the base of the solar still uh, even without opening up the plastic.